All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x is equal to 7. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by factoring out 5 to the power of x. So now I have 5 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 7. Now 1 plus 1, that's 2, so I have 5 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 7. And now I can divide both sides by 2. So then these two cancel out. And now I have 5 to the power of x is equal to 7 over 2. Now if I take the log on both sides, I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 7 over 2. If I have something to form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, log 5 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 5 is equal to log 7 over 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 5, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log of 7 over 2 over log 5. Now if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So in this case, log 7 over 2, that's going to equal log 7 minus log 2. And I have this over log 5. Now log 7, this is equal to 0 0.8451. Log 2 is equal to 0 0.3070. And log 5 this is equal to 0 0.6990. So x is equal to 0 0.8451 minus 0 0.3070 over 0 0.6990, which is equal to 0 0.7784. All right, so in this problem, I have one to the power of x squared over a to the power of x is equal to 61. So to solve this, first off, one to the power of any number is gonna equal to one, meaning one to the power of x squared, that's simply equal to one. So now I have one over a to the power of x is equal to 61. Now, I'm gonna multiply both sides by a to the power of x. So these two cancel out, and now I have one is equal to 61 times a to the power of x. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 61. So then these two cancel out. And now I have 1 over 61 is equal to 8 to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm actually going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 8 to the power of x is equal to log 1 over 61. And... Now, 1 over 61, that's the same thing as 1. Sorry, actually, before I do that, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move my exponent b to the front, so this is equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log a to the power of x, and I can move x to the front front. So I have x times log a is equal to log of 1 over 61. So now if I divide both sides by log 8, these two cancel out, and I have x is equal to log of 1 over 61 over log 8. Now log 8, that's the same thing as log of 2 to the power of 3. If I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move my exponent b to the front, so this is equal to b times log a. So log 2 to the power of 3, I can move 3 to the front, so now I have x is equal to log of 1 over 61 over 3 times log 2. Now if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log of 1 over 61 
that's going to equal log 1 minus log 61 over 3 times log 2. Now log 1, this is simply equal to 0. So now I have x is equal to negative log 61 over 3 times log 2. So negative log 61, well log 61 is 1.7853, so this is negative 1.7853 over 0 0.9031, which is equal to 1.7769, or negative 1.7769. All right, so in this problem, I have 3x to the power of 3, or sorry, 3 to the power of x to the power of 3, over 9 to the power of x is equal to 81. So to start, I'm going to first rewrite all of these terms. So I'm going to rewrite 9 to the power of x as 3 squared to the power of x. And 81, I'm going to rewrite as 3 to the power of 4. And the reason I did this was because now all my bases for my terms here are 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, I have 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 divided by 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x. Now, 2 to the power of x, that's the same thing as, well, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, that's the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x. That's going to equal 3 to the power of 2 times x, which is 2x. This is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now, a to the power of m over a to the power of n, that's equal to a to the power of m minus n. So this is equal to 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 minus 2x, which is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So x to the power of 3 minus 2x is equal to 4. So now I have a simple equation here. I'm going to subtract 4 on both sides, and I get x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. So to actually solve this, I'm going to need, I'm going to first start by getting one value of x, and then using that value, I'm going to get the remaining values. So to get that one value, I'm going to just have to test values out. So let's first start by testing out x equals 1. So if x equals 1, we have 1 to the power of 3 minus 2 times 1 minus 4 is equal to 0. 1 to the power of 3 is 1. So I have 1 minus 2 minus 4 is equal to 0, which is negative 1 minus 4, which is equal to negative 5. So this is wrong. So the next value I'm going to test out is 2. So if x equals 2, I get 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 times 2 minus 4, which is 8 minus 4 minus 4, which is 0. So 2 is going to be a value of x. Now using this value, we know that x minus 2, this is a factor of x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4. Because when we plug in 2 for x minus 2, that's 0, so x minus 2 is a factor. So now if I divide x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4 with x minus 2, I'm actually not going to waste your guys' time by actually dividing these two, but if you do divide these two, you should get x squared plus 2x plus 2. So this is the same thing as x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to this, or also equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x minus 2 is equal to 0 and x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. For x minus 2 equals 0, x is obviously equal to 2. And for x squared plus 2x plus 2 equals 0, uh, you have to use the quadratic formula for this. But if you do, you should get x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4i over 2. So this is two other answers.